You have to stay motivated. Uh. 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 You have to stay courageous. We get it from my mama. We get it from my mama. You have to develop confidence. I want to show that essentially in a world of no's, you create your own yes. founding director of Ballet After Dark. Ballet was always my first love. Being in the studio is where I've always felt most comfortable. As far as the girls go, it's not even so much about them loving their bodies, it's just about them loving themselves wholly. Respecting your body is a part of loving yourself. Learning to teach others to respect your body, learning to teach others how to respect your space. Those are things that I am interested in teaching them about right now. Everyone did such a great job today! I knew at the age of four that I wanted to be a dancer. I remember asking my mother at eight if I could audition for a dance program, and her answer was no. She said, that's not something that black girls do. But I didn't let that stop me. I remember taking the bus to ballet. I was riding the bus straight through the hood of Baltimore City, and I remember all of the balls of paper being thrown at me, all of the kids calling me an Oreo, which meant that I was a black girl on the outside but white on the inside because I was going to ballet. <laughs> My saving grace was knowing that as soon as I got off the bus, I was going to get into the studio and dance. I created ballet after dark, out of necessity after surviving my own attack. There was nowhere to go to soothe my soul. In October of 2012, I was coming home from work. As I'm getting out of the car, I have my headphones in my ears. I was completely unaware of my surroundings and this music was just blasting in my ears. And before you know it, I had been hit in the head. I had been dragged into the woods. And I pass out. When I woke up, he was gone and my pants were soiled because he urinated on me. There were things missing from my purse because he also robbed me. One of my tennis shoes was missing and it was freezing outside. One of the things that I noticed during my healing process is how I completely let myself go. I didn't care about anything. I didn't care if I ate. I didn't care if I bathed. I did not recognize myself. I didn't want anyone to be interested in me. I didn't want anything. I was just so lost. I wanted to figure out a way to start loving myself again.
Because ballet is a discipline that was created for royalty, it just made sense to infuse something into my recovery process that would make me feel regal, and that would make me feel strong. Certain movement, certain lines, and certain things that we do with our port de bras are designed in ballet for you to develop more grace. And that started to empower me. Ballet After Dark started with healing workshops for people like me who are survivors of trauma. I realized that there are women out here and men who are hurting and they want to be better. They want to fix their issues, they want to work through their pain, but they literally have nowhere to go. Say, oh, crazy people go to therapy. I'm quick to say, well, if that's what you want to call it, I would be crazier without it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Like, I'm okay with the crazy label. Like, yeah. I can call worse, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I woke up literally in an anxiety attack. Mm -hmm. Like, I woke up in a panic attack, and luckily I had it. Um, <laughs> Yeah. that was there in the moment to help me through it. Mm -hmm. Like, but just being able to know, like, but I'm gonna go dance. So I think that it's nothing like coloring and journaling. Those are my favorite things to do. And laughing. Yeah. Oh, comedy. Hey, hey. Belly after dark. Hey, belly after dark. Hey, belly after dark. Hey. 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 Over time, I started to reach out to other young women in the community to teach traditional ballet. Okay, so this is what you're doing. Hey. Most important responsibilities that I have being a black woman is representation. I have always been a thicker, curvier woman, especially growing up in ballet. This opportunity and being able to work with these girls shows them that just because you don't have a traditional build for dance does not mean that you're not going to have your moment to shine. And I'm just happy that I have something to do with their development now. was a lot of days where I would shower with the mirrors covered so I wouldn't have to see myself. What I found to be helpful was creating mantras, saying how much I did love scars on my body, saying how much I did love all of the stretch marks, saying how much I just appreciate all of the body parts that we have as women. What does ballet after dark mean to me? It means strength, being a survivor of abuse and assault myself. I just really wanted to immerse myself in the world of ballet after dark and figure out just what this was all about up close and personal. When I experienced domestic violence, it made me feel lost, it made me feel hurt, um, I felt foolish. Dance has helped me find myself again. It is the one thing that makes me feel joyous. It relaxes me. You know, it makes me feel free. Mm. 
running a business has been very difficult. I have to wear all of these different hats. I have to be my own assistant. I have to be my own coordinator. I have to be my own driver just because it's just me. When I first started, I would go out of my way and book studios and buy food and nobody would show up. Then you would have days where you have 30 people register and you expect for at least 20 people to show and then maybe four come. I just don't think that's in my personality just to quit. I'm not willing to give up. I'm now partnering with the city of Baltimore to work with families who have survived some kind of trauma. Hands on hips. Stand it up nice and straight. And let's bend our knees and stretch. This particular family was a family that was affected by gun violence here in the city. They lost a relative, a baby relative. And um, yeah, the baby was only a couple of months old. And so they're grieving. I'm, I'm very glad that they found me and I'm glad that they feel like they could benefit from me. I hope that I was able to take their minds off of what they've been dealing with. Um, even if it was just one minute. You gotta come to me, short stuff. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. There were many times I wanted to give up, but it wasn't until I started getting emails from women all over the world asking where can they go in their city in their country for Ballet After Dark, that I realized how vital something like this is. I want Ballet After Dark to be synonymous with healing. I want to be able to create a global network of survivors who can rely on each other or just knowing that there are others out there, that there is a warm space to discover what their journey of healing is, to discover who they are. I can't be you now. I can't be you, but I can be true.
Go. Thank you.